Okay, so we figured out how to save how to save him, so we're gonna do that. We killed him! We can save Blake, and we're gonna do that. Where did I kiss my mouth? I don't know if it's because we thought that April loved him, or because we just wanted to watch. I don't think it's, it was the watch him, I guess. Okay. So it's true, when it's breathing fire, it can't concentrate on anything else. Still, Blake, damn it, get back here. He's reaching for something else in his pocket. Finally, he pulls out a device that looks similar to the smoke cop, but different. You're dumb. If I throw this, it will end everything. But there's a chance Blake will be killed in the explosion as well. Bad idea. Explosion? Just what is that thing? Wait, he'll kill Blake. I don't want to lose anyone else to that dragon. So then, my lady, do you think Blake can fight that thing? Here I am, selfishly leaving the choices up to you again. How shameful. Still, if you trust him, I won't throw this. My thing is straight out of hand. I can't believe the words I'm hearing. Is he really so desperate? Do I think Blake can defeat that thing? I look to the dragon, and she lies looking so brightly in darkness around it. It almost burns to stare. Then there's Blake. Blake, he's a hero. There's no need to hesitate on an answer. It's not in my mind. Earl is not the only one who refuses to see anything else lost to that dragon. Blake feels that way too. This is the only chance to move past what happened months ago. That's why I that's why I know I can trust him. That's what he needs that's why he needs me to trust him. Fine. He pockets the device and turns slowly back to the hazy cloud of smoke that Blake has run into. If that kid gets himself killed here, she'd never forgive me anyway. I'm not sure who he's referring to. Maybe Gabby? Yes, he and yeah. Gabby are close. Does that mean that he knows Gabby cares about Blake? That must be it. There's, all, there's no way she doesn't. The worry in his own eyes and voice is real, which can only mean one thing. He doesn't hate Blake. Blake, your friends are cheering for you. I can focus on my on my hearing on the sound of Blake's armor so jostling with emotions. I'm cheering for you as well. I, I like how he's the only one fighting. The dragon concentrating hard on creating the flame. He doesn't notice Blake, or if it does, it can't react. The fire stops at the other end of the room just as Blake jumps upwards. His sword is drawn and held at his side. Using the momentum of his jump, he, sta he drags Blade upwards along the dragon leg. The creature hisses, raising a, raising a clawed hand to smack Blake away. The hand freezes in their coffin of ice, which then explodes, shattering the appendage along with it. Through the smoke, I can see Gabby standing at the top, her arms outstretched and an eerie white glow coming from her fingers. The frost runs along her skin, glistening far away. Get him, Blakey! Ah! Somehow the dragon is unfazed and raises the other arm, hoping this time to find success on the ground to be met with a similar fate battle, which it means. Blake rips his sword free of the meanies. And scaled neck just in time to block the sword. Dragon's claws slicing off the bony fingers of these. The fall of the darkness blows, blood streaming after to join them. It seems Blake might also be joining them in their ascent, but he jams the sword back into the dragon's neck in order to give the needed power for another jump. His movements are nothing like what I've seen him before. Has he always been holding back? Blake finishes his jump, landing on the dragon's shoulder. He pulls the sword free of the dragon's flesh and starts to stumble. He catches himself, but there's a look of sudden down his face. He can't figure out what to do. He's ready to panic. Don't panic. His rogue stature dismissed along with his... No! Blake, why? Get down the other side! Cut his head right off! Oh, God. I love the red eyes. <laughs> so Cat crazy. Leaps over the wall he used for hiding, grabbing both of his axes from his back. He runs into the now faint smoke as well. He's fast, feet making short work of the gap between him and the dragon. He leaps upwards along the opposite side of the dragon's head, cutting along the neck the same way Blake had. Blood pooling on the floor on the dragon losing from the large cuts on either side. But that didn't make it all the way through. The beast clamps his mouth shut and breathes out of snow as a puff of smoke. Steam, steam clouding around his head. Both boys out of the screen. The steam must be very hot. Burns. <laughs> he looks very happy. It's like, burns! Mm. Don't stare from the rebel next. His hand, he raises his wand, changes himself. Flex of gold starts to gather around him. I've got you kids covered. Thanks, Rose! Don't mention it. I wonder if he was supposed to have a name Rose if he changed the gun. I feel like it's a nickname. The smoke around the dragon's head finally clears, and we can all see Ken. Blake and Kent once more, neither of them are harmed. The healing magic reversing damage of this golden steam. Blake and Kent share a glance before them, both nodding. In a flurry of blaze, the dragon's head is severed from his body. It crashes down against the stone ground, a grotesque plat marking the dragon's own eyes. The body seems in the darkness of the chamber below as Blake and Kent jump one last time to safety. I break into a run, tears streaming from my eyes. I was so scared, I was so scared, but I knew it. I knew he could do it. 
See me, Blake tosses his blessed sword to the side, stretches his arm wide, and crashes into a rock and die. Arms around him, he does the same, racing me strongly. Dude, there's a to totally be blood on him, too. Oh, that's so cute! We're both laughing the tense situation you have, man. His adrenaline is dying quickly before, you know, he's crying into my soul. He did so well. Thank you for trusting me. He will never know that Erwin will almost sacrifice his life instead. This man will last more I will trust. Probably better that way. Thank you, Gorsuna. Yeah, he might have died the other way. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Because of you, I could be strong. Not only that, but everyone else supported me. My head rests in gently against the cold metal chest and shake slowly. No, that's not right. He wasn't me. He was always that strong. I can hear his officers behind us, but I don't bother turning out. I don't know who I am. So I don't know who I am. Blake. Erwin. Look, I... Or his feet tap against the stone floor. It's not hard to imagine what sort of look he had. On his that face. face. I'm sorry. April would be proud. He walks away. He steps up. Everyone else clamors around next. Gun and Kent saw the offering praise of Blake. Gun soon is attracted to offering the Pope's dragon's head with a lot. Rather than continue this offering, but Kent sticks around. Thanks, Kent. You were a big help there. I was. I was. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, thanks. You're welcome. We need to play history just to hell's wrong with him. What? I wonder if you know what's wrong with him just through his story. Probably. You're welcome. I spent a few more moments wrapped up in Blake's arm for part of your groups. Excitement starts to wear off, and we're all left with nothing but questions and worries. How did the dragon get here? It didn't belong here, and if there was no doubt in the events that disappeared. How did it get here? It's just messing with us. Evil, I mean. It knew that something we all feared. It knew that was something we all feared. And brought it here to confuse us. If that's the case, the birds sure showed evil. I can finally move past that. Anyway, let's keep going. Evil must be at the heart of this castle. I think we're close. You should really voice me. Huh? Voicing scared. <laughs> I don't know. It's it's in my my blood. <laughs> he walks ahead of everyone else. After the exchange look, they agreed. Each falling line behind him. He's going again, metaphorically, of course. The true hero. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> no, was the fight was just really hot. <laughs> I'm still on fire. As Blake had predicted, it wasn't much further until he reached the heart of Castle. <laughs> I like that. That's I'm nice. still on fire. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still on fire. If the room has a ceiling, it's very high. The void above us seems to stretch upwards forever. A tall throne sits in the middle of the room. I want to point out, Blake dying, though, did help them defeat evil really Yeah, easily. so I don't know what's going to happen here. A tall throne sits in the middle of the room, just the same. It rises so high top, high the top is hidden in darkness. On the throne is a mass of emptiness. Gosuna, you finally arrived! <laughs> Why do you care about me? I grab my head, something is buzzing. No, no, it's probably messing with everyone. I've waited for you, I am evil. I will always find you. You and I were meant to meet and become one. Leave these fools behind and join me. Okay, we already saved Blake. No! No! Christina, what's wrong? I'm shaking all over my hands blowing through my hair. Oh, the power of love is gonna live win here. My skin is growing cold, a strange tickling sensation crawling over my body. It feels like something is trying to get inside me. For that's just that's just Blake, don't worry. For <laughs> explode me from inside. Me from inside. Something to explode. That sounds disgusting. I don't want it. Ping! <laughs> my eyes be shut as I shake my head. It's only there's a strong pressure all around, but it's different except for the sensation of darkness. Dark images start flicking through my mind, things based on my own personal fears and anxieties. I try my best to ignore it, focus on the other, other feeling. It's a stark contrast to the shivering cold and haunted war. It's kind, of warm. it's kind and warm and filled with tenderness when I was open to see Blake. My one true love! He rests his heart against mine, I can feel a bead of sweat in his brow. You, that struggling with fighting was not my only, my own, but even so, he radiates from work. I don't understand it, but it's almost like he's the same person. No, that's not right. He's the same person, he's just. My hand is raising briefly to his arms and pull away. I will get a little look at his face. He's smiling at me. He has a beard now. <laughs> Inspiration. He's a hero. Heroes have beards. Dun dun dun. No, it's more like dun 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 really? dun. Yeah. It is. <laughs> Well, let's destroy that thing. Blake turns to face evil. The others come to stand beside him. Erwin makes eye contact with Blake for a short period before they both stare before the throne. The strange, twisting mass of darkness that sits upon it. Hey, Blake. Hey, Blake. Um, yeah? Even with all this barbado, one thing still shakes him. 
You're the hero type not here, and this is your mission. What's the call? Murder him dead? To think with evil and save the world. That's basically murder him ha, dead. kinda lame, but I like it. Let it blow. Let's go. Let's do it. Yay, they're getting along! That's a party of world class here, and short work of people fighting together in the direction of Blake. Oh, that's nice. We all care about Blake and love him deeply. The sense of pride that poured between the group at that point, at that moment, isn't something that can be measured. It's too great. After defeating Evil, oh, pretty we came to Castle City and reported to the king. I had to stand in for April again, lest the senile old fool find out she's gone. The king is so excited that he gives us each two kisses on the head. I think I took two showers. <laughs> it was kind of nasty. <laughs> Once the formal meeting has ended, I exit the hallway alone. Everyone else having gone their separate ways. Apparently that's normal for them. Once they finish their quests, they part from each other until they're needed again. They all have lives outside of being heroes. I remember staying in the castle court. I was looking for the exit back to town, but I guess I took the wrong turn. Blake has an entire family, and we don't get to romance him. That's what this is going. This is where it's going. The flowers here smell strong. What do you mean? I don't know. Just keep going. The flowers here smell strongly sweet in the summer air. A breeze making them bob peacefully and carrying the aroma all around. The grass is frosty cut, adding another layer of pleasant to the pleasant smell. I'm not alone. Someone else is it's here. It's Blake. Yep. Blake turns and smiles softly at me. His armor sparkles brighter than normal. And it's like... I'm happy to see you here. I was gonna head back home, but I wanted to wait for you. He comes to stand in front of me. He is he taller than before? No, that must be. A Does he have a beard now? I guess you'll be going back to Perk to attend Hero Academy after this, huh? He's right. With the money Aaron gave me, I can easily quit my job now and begin my studies. Hey, do you mind if? What if I went to Perk with you? Ooh. I feel my ears burning. Christina, you've done so much for me. Erwin apologized, and Gabby, she trusted me, and just now she praised me. It's all thanks to you. I want to stay with you forever. I want to stay he with you. He's on words. He turns a, he runs a hand through his hair, sheepishly blushing. I well, because I love you. Do you? Do you feel the same? <laughs> can we say no? Yeah. <laughs> all I can do is not. I feel like if I try saying anything, I will start crying. He yearns. The smile of one that's almost too cute to handle. I'm so glad. Thanks to you, I was finally able to find my true self. I finally got to prove to everyone I was strong. Even myself. Because of that, everyone else stood beside me as well. Gorsuna, you can't understand how much that meant to me. I can. In that moment, I can see him swelling with pride and joy. A radiance in it. Em emanating. <laughs> there we go. Emanating from him. Strong ever before. It's infectious, my own heart dancing to his feelings. Well, let's not tell him about the alternate universe where he died, because we wanted, because we thought it'd be, we couldn't trust him, and nah. Let's not tell him about that. He grabs my hand, but this way it's like, we said up to that point, we trust him. Up to that point. I know. I don't understand. He grabs my hand in his. You never gave up on me. <laughs> Except in the alternate universe. You encouraged me every step of the way. I never believed in myself, but you believed in me. That gave me courage. The courage to protect someone I love. I'm saying you're yelling. Calm down. Thank you. Ah! <laughs> we both yelled. Really <laughs> Finn! Much better! Okay, guys. That was Blake's story. Have fun. <laughs> have a good life. Except in the alternate universe. Then have a bad I life. I feel like doing things right now. Have a bad you, life in the other What? Do you want to do Kent's? It's about what the hell's wrong with him. I I don't know. I'd be okay with doing whatever. 